possibly going to have our car back by the end of the week, you're thinking? Yeah, that's what they're telling us. I know. I'm ready. Oh. This, the other truck was a lot of fun to drive. This one is rinkety and noisy and... A gas hog. Gas hog. That's the biggest one. Oh. So, how's your diet going, baby love? Not good. Tell me why. What's going on? I'm a cheater. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. Yeah, I hate coming yesterday. Like, you're not even trying at this point. No, that's why I said. What I said. I didn't want to, like, misrepresent. You're a sugar sure. bar. Yeah. But I amazing, was paying for it. The most amazing thing happened yesterday. So, we had this lady at my work that makes, um, when, when it's birthday, you know, everyone takes turns. And, um, it was her turn to make the cake for the next person. And she made her famous, department famous, strawberry cake. And it's a sheet cake that has like a strawberry icing. And I mean, like you can smell it through the whole department when she opens the lid like, kind of thing. It's absolutely scrumptious. Hi, on this way now. Yep, that happened. Oh, that feels much better. I'm gonna do that for a little bit. It's right on my wrist. Um, and so I didn't go to the party we sang to her because I was like feeling weak you know <coughs> and so um, about an hour and a half later the weakness was taking over and I went over and I was like I'm going to have just a bite I'm going to have a bite of cake oh. and the entire cake was gone it was hilarious <laughs> I was like yay <laughs> temptation has been removed I'm so happy yeah, it's it awesome. Yeah, you it didn't get any. Nope, I didn't get oh, any. Awesome. None at all. So, yeah, I was happy about that. Because, I, you know... You lasted long enough. Well, my girl that um, is in my department that's doing keto with me, who is rocking it out, she's probably lost 15 pounds already, um, had two pieces of cake. She ate my piece. <laughs> you should thank her today. Thank you. So, yeah, it was it was a bit of a non-scale victory. Um... I did survive the weekend without gaining a pound. Oh my god, that was great. That's a big deal. So I was really happy about that. I think I actually lost half a pound. Oh yeah. Um, I have been like really heavily craving the last couple of days. Like I have Big been fish? Eating, I've been eating potato chips. Uh -huh. No carb thing. Okay. Well, every once in a while you're like, I'm craving fish. I am. And there's, I... I feel like I'm that way with iron, so I do think I need to have more than just... Here you go, Iron Salmon. Y'all, we watched a video the other day of 40 different ways to cook salmon. The hair dryer was a fail. Just saying. Super gross. Um, it was just gross. Sorry, that was a little side note there. <laughs> That's not what happened. Um, so, anywho, um, so I feel like that I'm pretty on track. I do wish I was doing better because obviously, if I was, I would be losing more. Um, I'd really like to get under 200 and have my clothes fit me again. I'm down to like two pairs of jeans. I'm like, that's it. That's all I have. Because they're kind of, I'm kind of in, in fact, these I'll see how well I do because they're a little bit tight. They're kind of low riders. When you have a muffin belly and you put on low riders, He's like, and I just disconnected from the call. Excuse me, cover and Tuck and roll. Tuck and, and roll. roll. <laughs> and Robert taking sugar. So, and how are you feeling, honey? It's horrible. Yeah. You know, why don't you just tell them? Tell them that I was almost in tears last night with the inflammation in my leg and foot. Go ahead. Tell them I was miserable all evening. You have narcotic pain pills oh. due to the pain of eating sugar. Oh. So, you know, it would be easier if you just like went through the, the withdrawals. You're not getting on the current pain pills. Oh, no. Sorry, red one. So, yeah, if you would just go through the pain and discomfort of having a couple days without sugar, you'd be fine. But you give yourself sugar almost every single day. We were doing that. You like every other day. Up. I do it like every other day. You have until February. It's like a week 
the way. Yeah, yeah. We've decided, and I don't think we've mentioned this yet, that we didn't want to just go out to dinner for Valentine's Day. So we're oh, doing yeah. we're doing an experience. Nope. I'm we're so tales. excited. I know I'm excited too. I'm it's like gonna be rough, myself. so we're gonna have to probably do some postmates to pay for it, but we are going to do a float spa. Sensory deprivation. Sensory deprivation. It's an hour-long float each. I we'll be in separate so rooms, excited. but we'll be experiencing it at the same time. And you just go and they turn on music and float. Complete sensory, sensory deprivation. So I'm excited. It should be very calming and hopefully we'll... Well, we'll tell you all about it. Yeah. I will do that because I'll probably be excited. Yeah, I think we will do I think this is, um, is going to be interesting next level to meditate. Yeah, we're definitely meditators. And so, um, and I've tried to do it in the bathtub before, you know, where you put your head under the water, just kind of like. Yeah. But a bathtub is actually very loud. And the water temperature changes too quickly. Constantly. By yeah, the time, by the time you get it, so that you don't feel the water, it's a body temperature. You take four or five breaths, and it's cooled off, and now you're chilly. And, yeah. 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 And so there's no real. I thought about doing a Wim Hof um, ice bath. Good luck with that. Oh, uh, hold the towel. <laughs> it's only been in the thoughts. It's, it's really it. interesting because I used to be a, a, a big proponent oh, wow. yeah, of the um, the ice bath kind of thing, even was part of a polar bear club for a while. But ever since I got hardware yeah. implants, you're a metal leg now, so. I'm just um, I'm not interested in that depth of cold. It goes straight to pain. On a no level wonder. I'm not willing to deal with. And, and I consider myself pretty tolerant when it comes to pain. But something about, you know, super cooling a titanium rod that's in the middle of your leg, it's just not pleasant. So my my thigh and, and, and hamstring always feel chilly and tight. So yeah, but enough about my Well, you know, if you quit eating sugar, I'm sure all the it would be better, but it wouldn't be great. That's my main issue. What? Is if my body was healthy and I cut out sugar, I would feel like Superman. Now that my body is kind of screwed up, I get improvement, but I never get relief. And so there's a lot of sacrifice and, and, and work in not eating the things that I don't, that I want. And then on top of that, I'm not in the position where if I'm Amy and I don't eat anything, that I don't, be, I'm not in pain and my life's gravy and then we can move on. If I don't eat any bad stuff, it just lowers my level of pain. It doesn't re Yeah, you're not magically it. cured from all your illness. Right, yeah, I hear and you. so there's a lot of work to get just a little bit of improvement. Well, and sugar has become such a comfort for you. Right. And a minute to just, you know, stop dealing with all the pain for a second and enjoy something pleasurable. Exactly. So, I'm sure it's an attitude I need to work on. Sure. You know, your mindset has more to do with anything than... And let's be honest, you're a guy, so all you have to do is eat one meal keto and you'll lose 75 pounds. So that's really all you need to do. I mean, let's be let's be real. Yeah, I lose I lose as much doing dirty keto as Amy does when she's strict. And I'm not strict very often. It's hard for me because of the fact that he's not. I blame him. That's what I'm gonna say. Which is completely untrue. But I do have a tendency to bring home bread. Yeah, you brought home bread last night. I'm interested to see if I gained all that loss because I had some bread yesterday for dinner, and then I had chips at lunch. So I definitely feel like I went over on my carbs. I tried to keep it under, I usually try to keep it under 50 to 100 carbs, because I know technically that's where the magic ends. Yeah. Whereas 20 obviously is ideal, or even zero is ideal. You know, there's, there's a level that each person's body can handle before it starts flipping the other direction. 
Yeah, and then we were talking to our oldest son, and he has the opposite problem. He can't put on any muscle mass. His 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 body fat is always just super low, nothing. And so he's trying to eat healthy and eat the the carnivore lifestyle because of how well it makes him feel, how it clears up a bunch of physical issues. Yeah. But then he just loses all the weight and muscle he's trying to put on. And, yeah. And so yeah, so he's trying. He's talking to a bodybuilder about how to modify the keto diet to put on muscle. And it's it's interesting. I'm I'm really curious to see what happens because yeah. his theory is is kind of contrary to some of the stuff we've been learning. So. I'm, I'm really curious to see how it works out for you. Well, you know, you watch people like Vegetable Police and, and you, you see somebody that's not even remotely close to the experience we're having, but he's still having an experience. He's skinny, he's muscular, he wants to stay muscular, wants to, you know, have that strength, and then possibly also gain a few pounds yeah. without having his face go dead and have problems with that, having stomach issues, you know, Our all of those things. years coming back. Yeah. And I think that he's actually so much like Mike in that, that it's kind of interesting that, you know, Mike is very skinny, very muscular, very active. Yeah. And pretty and, healthy. He's pretty yeah. healthy. And he uses uh, isometrics for his workout, yeah. so he doesn't use any equipment or anything. And so, yeah, so he's, his, his body weight is his max weight that he's got to work with. So, you know, it, it, it creates some interesting challenges. Uh, yeah, like his push-ups are completely inverted. Yeah, Mike is, he's so small that what he's asked for for, Chris, for his birthday is a weighted belt. Or a weighted or a vest. Or a weighted vest yeah. to help him have more weight because he doesn't want actual free weights. Yeah. So that's now something that we're looking into. But like I said, we're talk about that after. he yeah. does his push-ups upside down with his feet straight in the air. Very cool. Alright, we're going to get out from here. I'm running out of um, video, but thank you for watching and this update from us. Robert and Amy, out. So this is my Monday morning weigh-in. Um, I'm actually really happy that I survived the week with a little bit of a loss. So, woohoo, weekend survived.